Okay, so let's start with coaching philosophy. And um, you guys are going to watch that little video and answer some questions, and then you're supposed to kind of research if you have certain coaches that you admire, or, I mean, you can just look up anybody if you have no idea and there's nobody in particular. Um, but you're going to kind of try to, to find some different coaching philosophies and look at those and really think about if you were to become a coach, what do you think your co coaching philosophy would be? And then as we go through different things um, and look at different topics, maybe by the end of the semester, that's going to change. Maybe it won't. Um, but to give you an example, I'll talk a little bit about my coaching philosophy and certain things that maybe you you want to think about. When you talk about coaching philosophy, those, there's different things that go into it. You have kind of the more logistic side of your sport and what your coaching philosophy is in that regard. But then you have all the non-technical things that you also have to think about. So if someone were to ask me volleyball-wise, what is your coaching philosophy in regards to volleyball and technical skills, you know, or on my team? You know, I would always tell them, um, I believe in running a quick offense. You know, I want quick sets. I want quick passes. I want my, I want my offense running different plays on free balls. Um, I'm a very defensive minded team. You know, I believe if you can't pass the ball, then you're not going to be successful. I also believe in aggressive serving. So my players would always, um, <clears throat> I trained all my players to jump, serve, jump, float, jump, top, spin, and be able to serve different areas. And I kind of knew with that, you're going to miss more serves. So you're, you're, you're giving up a little bit of consistency. But in my experience and in my mind, it always balanced out or in my opinion actually gave us the advantage because we were more aggressive and so we made the other team make more mistakes than what we were making by missing serves and so there were certain things logistically that as as volleyball coaches you're not always going to agree on because some coaches might say I want them to get their serve in every single time so if that means they have to stand and serve like a lollipop serve great because I don't want them missing a serve. And for me, I was like, I want you to be aggressive. I want you to serve where I'm telling you to serve. And if you're putting in that effort and you're trying and make a mistake, okay, then we'll deal with it and we'll move on. Um, I think age depends a little bit on that. But even, even kind of with my younger kids, I still have that same philosophy. And that is to be the best, you have to push yourself, you know, outside of your comfort zone. And the earlier you start practicing what you want in the end, by the time you get there, you're going to be better at it. And so, you know, um, you, yeah, if I have a 14 year old girl trying to run slides, it's going to be awkward. And the four, Footwork's going to be weird, but eventually, if I start her at 14, by 16, she's going to be killing it, whereas people often will wait until 16 to start them with those things, and then they don't progress until they're 17 or 18. So, a little bit of a different philosophy technically, but then you got to look at all the other off-the-court things, too. What's your philosophy and discipline? You know, What's going to be most important to you? Is it important to you that they show up on time? Is it important to you that they have a curfew? Is it important to you that, you know, they follow the rules and they're where they're supposed to be? Is it important to you that they get good grades? You know, are you going to implement some type of academic standard? <laughs> Excuse me. No matter what the level is. Um, you know, is it important to you that that you're making them better people as opposed to just better players. You know, um, what kind of relationship do you want on your team? Do you want them to be close and friends and, or do you not really care about that as long as you're being successful? Um, I think those things can have as much of an effect 
on the outcome as the skill stuff. And so, you know, I think as you progress, you learn different things. But like I said, hopefully if you guys look up some of those examples and you kind of read through maybe what some thoughts are on some of those different topics, maybe you can kind of develop, you know, what your thoughts are on specific things. Um, I was very, very um, into some of those, those logis um, some of those <clears throat> non-logistical things like they had to be on time. You know, there were punishments for not being on time. Um, the grades were super important. I, uh, we had study hall. We had to, you know, if you had zeros or Fs or anything like that, you know, we would talk, we'd have to have talk about it. And sometimes I would bench people or this or that, depending on what the situation was. Um, respect was huge. I didn't put up with any attitude. Um, I don't care how good they were, you know, um, so, so those are decisions that you have to make as a coach because for some people, they're never going to bench their best player no matter what they do. And that's because they want to win and they're there to win. And I'm not saying that that's wrong because a lot of jobs, especially, <laughs> excuse me, going into college level and above and sometimes even sometimes even high school level, if you don't win, you lose your job. So, I mean, those are things you have to think about too. Are you willing to lose your job to do the right thing or what you think is the right thing? Because again, I'm not saying one way or the other is right or wrong. Um, but I do think it's important that you start to think about those things because I think even if you don't end up being a coach, understanding some of those concepts, especially for those of you that are athletes, um, I think it will will help in your future. So go look up some of those coaching philosophies, uh, watch the video, um, and try to come up with a well-rounded coaching philosophy that talks about logistics in your sport that you're picking, but also some of those off-the-court off things like academics, um, things like being on time, um, discipline, um, t like team, you know, team philosophy and some of those extra things that, that you think are going to be incorporated into your team.